Welcome family. Good morning. It's your sister Jay with another segment of Country Living in the City. Well, right now I'm just sitting in my chair in the living room because it's cold outside and I'm not going to film right now out there. But I did talk in my last video when I did showed you how to make sausage. I talked about a substance that the food industry allows the FDA approved um, it's called a transglutaminase and it's called the TG enzyme and a lot of times if it's on your packages it's just gonna list the word enzyme so you don't know that it's in there but it is a substance uh, nicknamed um, meat glue and I want to show you a quick clip on how it affects the body take a look have you been trying to lose weight but just can't do you have abdominal cramping and all sorts of issues this video is to show you what may be going on inside your body by eating meat with meat glue so the meat glue actually sticks smaller pieces of meat together so since meat glue binds itself to other meats it actually does the same thing inside your colon. Can you see in this video which pieces of meat are real and other meat that is bound around it? Of course you can. You're not stupid. So what happens inside your colon? Exactly. It binds to your colon. Studies have shown that it is extremely dangerous and toxic. And what happens when you eat this type of meat that has this meat glue in it? It causes issues inside your body, which makes it difficult to lose weight. In this video, you can see that there are some pieces of meat that are not binded together with meat glue. So do your research. Look online and search for meat glue. As you can see in this video here, they have to wear gloves and masks because it's extremely toxic. This meat glue is extracted from pig's blood and other animal fluids to make meats stick together. Now look at this. You can tell, anybody can tell, there are four different pieces of meat stuck together with meat glue in this single package here. You are paying premium price for something that is not even premium. I want to eat healthy. I want my family to eat healthy. I want my friends and family to be healthy, but yet the meat industry is doing this. Now you are a very smart person. So look at this video right here and tell me, does this look like a real piece of meat or a bunch of pieces of meat glued together and charging you premium price, even calling it premium and all natural. And how can they get away with calling it premium all natural and charging you premium prices for pieces of meat like this? If you can't lose weight, you keep on gaining weight and your stomach feels awful all the time, there may be a reason for it. It's enzymes in the meat. Question. Now look at this, this is real meat. This is real muscle. You can see the muscle fibers and the safest way of cooking this is in your slow cooker crock pot. What have you learned in your research? Please put them in comments down below. I'll respond to everything on this video because this is important. Okay, have guys. You? Well, that is why I made the statement in my video when I was making the sausage that I drive 45 minutes to get uh, meat. That's because I don't buy things from the grocery store because sometimes it's not always easy to um, spot it. But um, the video clip that showed you showed you how you can look. And sometimes there's bubbles, there's uh, cracks in the meat where you can see where they tried to glue two pieces of meat together. And shameful enough the fda allows it and the and there's been a rise in gastrointestinal diseases worldwide because unfortunately the usa sends meat to other countries <laughs> so it's happening because i don't believe um the eu which is the governing body of food in the European nations, I don't believe they allow this substance, but I know it's allowed in the United States. And I'll do some more research on it. So, yeah, I'm very picky about what I eat now. And that's one reason why I started the garden, because the farmers are just as guilty of doing cutting the corners, at, uh, so to speak, 
and people are getting ill from it. So I just wanted to throw that tidbit out to you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this information. I'll give more information, I know. And I'm going to also post this on my Black and Healthy channel, too, because this information needs to be known to them as well. So, that's all I got for you guys. Take care of yourself and each other. Eating foods from the Most High. Until next time, Shalom. Thank you.